Now for the fun part. CPU. See, this be it right here. I'm smiling for the screenshot. <laughs> and for the thumbnail, right. All right, so this was the hardest part to get on this. There's still a shortage of them. And uh, so I get a lot of questions about this. So this is the Intel Core Ultra 285K. Um, and there is, um, I get a lot of questions about why. Why, why, why? When the earlier Intel stuff is better. Well, it's because this is an upgrade from my current CPU and it has the NPU in it. And it's some of the first ones that have a, a beefy NPU. There, there are some other models out there that have uh, lesser NPUs in it. NPU is a neural processing unit. Uh, so it's like in, uh, um, you know, so we have on the CPUs, we have uh, the CPU portion, we have GPU portion, and now NPU. And so this has onboard graphics and the NPU. Um, so, um, <laughs> I should have installed, I'm, I'm reading chat at the same time, I should have installed it before putting uh, the motherboard in the case, that way if you bend the pins, you don't have to tear it all apart again to RMA the board. Well, there are no pins. That is pretty old school. Um, you know, unless, unless I'm surprised and they went back to pins, they've all been pads for quite a while now, as far as I know. So anyway, I'm going with, uh, with this, oh, there are on the motherboard. Well, all right, so in all honesty, with what you're saying, the, the pins on the motherboard, if I screw it up, that's not an RMA. I mean, seriously, like, that's like saying, I bought a brand new car and, uh, and I um, hit a curb on my way out and I bent my rim, and so I want to return my car for a new one. <laughs> um, it, it's going to be my fault if I if if I mess this up. So, um, plan is not to mess it up. Most obviously, right? So, I think we'll start here with uh, unboxing this, and let's see if. I don't know if I can get a good view of this or not, how far down this will go. So, yeah, it's not gonna go very far. Here, let me put it back here. There we go. All right, so, um, again, here's the box. And let's see here, we gotta break the seal. That, I've got a tool for that. I can find it. Where did I put it? Oh, here it is. All right. So this is uh, this is a handy little Leatherman knife I got. I really like it, and and I got it so that I can. Uh, it had a little screwdriver in it and stuff. Leatherman is um, is a brand that I grew up with because the Leatherman company was in my town, and. Um, um, anyway, it, it's just a nice little tool. This is box cutter, screwdriver uh, at the same time. And then um, it's got, got a few other things, pretty simple. Just don't forget and have it with you when you go to the airport. Just like leave your guns at home mm, when you go to the airport. Okay, so nice clean cut there. Okay, so never getting that back together, are we? Ta-da! There's a whole lot to unbox in this, isn't there? Okay, there we go. So now, um, you know, the the front of it just looks pretty normal. The back of it, so this is what I was talking about about the pads, and uh, so. And uh, Lord X-Ray is saying that there's pins on the motherboard. I'll believe him, 
because, you know, I don't have any reason not to. And so, there we go. Get all this out of the way. Oh, there's something in here. Oh, it's a manual. Look at that. It probably just tells me all the safety precautions, shit that they're supposed to send with it. The disclaimer, right. The processor install. Okay, well, I'm gonna take a look at this. So, um, I haven't done one of this generation. I assume it's pretty much the same as, uh, as others that I've done, but I don't know. So, let me, uh, let me see on that. Can I put this back together? I don't know. Look at that, all back together. Okay, so now the processor install. Um, of course, you got to go to a web page and Oh, it wants me to put in the motherboard first and then release the lever. Yeah, this is all very familiar to me. Uh-oh, supervisor's here. I might have to kick him out of the room. Um, remove the plate. Put this in. It's keyed. Don't put your fingers on it. I'm not going to touch any of the sens um, um, any of the electronic contact parts at all. Um, and... Let's see here. Uh, very self-explanatory. I know how to do this. I've done it before, so not going to be, not going to be too difficult. And let's see here. See if we can get a good view on that. It's hard. I wish I could set this into the case here, can I? Mm, not really. Yeah, not really. I, I do wish that I could set that into the case. Um, but this type of uh, thing that I have for it here, not really. So. Details. This is where the CPU goes, for those that don't know. I'm not assuming that anybody knows what they're doing with this. Uh, I will say that I pretty much know what I'm doing with this, but um, I don't build computers very often now, and so it's possible to get something wrong. Um, so anyway, that is the uh, cover there, and the uh, here you depress this down here, which you can't hardly see, to to lift up the bar, and then it's going to expose this. We're going to set the processor in. The processor is going to have a notch on one corner, and that's where we're going to put it in at. So let's see here. Yeah, mounting this light, it's like, I want to mount it in here, but it's hard. All right. So, I think I'm going to, I'm going to grab something and wipe my hands off first. And then I will. And this, I just want to make sure I have any extra oils off my hands. I saw a really neat thing on Shark Tank the other day. Um, that was a compound that actually removes, um, um, that actually removes the, the, um, oils from your hands. And so you get a much better grip. It's those oils on your hands that makes it so you don't have a good grip. And so this, um, stuff looked pretty incredible. Uh, and they're using it in the sporting industry, but it might be good too for stuff like this, or you just wear gloves. But gloves, if you need that tactile touch and everything, gloves could be, you know, an issue. 
So, all right, we're gonna start by pressing this down and it comes over just a little bit and comes up. You don't wanna let it go, it will flick up pretty, pretty hard. Um, and then, we've got the thing in here and so there it is with all the little pins and so I'm going to see here if we can see on there where it's keyed it actually looks like it's Yeah, I'm gonna look at the processor too. Make sure I get the orientation right. So, here's the processor, turn it over in its package. And, all right. I have to look at this a little bit more here. I don't, I don't do a lot of build videos, and so I don't like how I can't see very well on some of the stuff, or that I can't get good camera views. I'm not seeing, okay, so I've got, Oh, I do not want you up here for this, sweetie. Cat. I'm going to take him out of the room. He does not need to be helping for this part. I do not need any cat hairs in there. In fact, I very specifically need to make sure that I don't have any cat hairs in there. No cat hairs on my hands. Okay. So I'm looking at this, and I'm looking at the processor, and... I'm not seeing, I want, to, I want to seat this right the very first time. Absolutely, that is my goal, seat it right the very first time. And I see, all right, there we go. I got two little pins down here. I, I don't think you can see them on the video, but there are two little pins down there. And then, let me turn this around this way. And I'll show you. All right. All right, so there are, at the bottom of the CPU here, there are two little indents in the the green board portion of it and then over here there are two little indents in the bottom portion that are not at the top and that that's going to be my key so this is this is right here going to be like i'm just going to flip it over into there and uh and and put it in so and i'm i'm determined to get this right the first time I do not need to uh, make a mistake on this and bend any pins or anything like that. So, now what I don't know, I don't remember, is what it said about this back plate here. The back plate's still up on there while putting the CPU in. And then uh, we're gonna pull it off before we lock this down. Fine, very good. Okay, so here we go.
Here we go. It's in there perfect. So it is, uh, I'm not going to put my fingers on it, but it is seated perfect. And it just kind of popped right into place. I didn't have to force anything. Nothing was forced. I think that's really key, too. I didn't have to force anything. And especially in this area, if you're having to force anything, something's wrong. So now we're going to pull this off. And that just sits down over there. And we're in. All right, good. So now, um, yeah, I think we'll call this video good right there. Um, and for the rest of this, I'm gonna pin up my beard. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna tie up my beard in a knot because I need to uh, make sure that I'm not getting my beard up into up into this. And so got a beard bun. How's that? Do I look great? Yeah, I don't have my glasses on. I can't tell. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if I look good or not. Yeah, so it's up in a bun and the um, 